What's up my dudes, it's Ansu and today I'm here to talk to you all about audiobooks. This is going to be a two-part video. I will leave timestamps below for exactly what you want to see. I'm going to talk about three different audiobook services that most of you all probably know about. And I'm going to talk about the pricing, what the pros and cons are of each of these platforms and what I personally recommend the most. And also in the end, we'll have some audiobook recommendations, which were my favorite. We'll start off with the most popular one, Audible. Audible is a subscription service which has a 30-day free trial in which you can either get one to two audiobooks for free. Either the Canadian website or the US website, you can get two audiobooks as free credits. But most of the time, you just get one free credit for that free trial. And if you want to get more audiobooks, you'll have to pay for it separately. This can range from anywhere between $10 to $40 from whatever I've seen. And I feel like it's pretty hefty. Once the 30-day trial is done, you'll have to pay a monthly fee, which as a Canadian, it is $14.95. So on top of the monthly fee that you're paying after the 30 day free trial is done, you'll also have to get a free credit per month. And if you want any other extra books, you'll have to buy it with more money. This has its own disadvantages because it can get very expensive really quickly. The good thing about Audible is that it has Audible Originals, which means you cannot find that on any other platform. You can only find it on Audible. The good thing about Audible is if in case you don't like the audiobook that you were listening to for whatever reason, maybe you don't like the narrator, maybe you don't like the story, or maybe it skipped a lot, you can return that book and get another audiobook as a replacement. Obviously, don't take this as just a loophole because you will be blocked after a certain amount of books if you keep repeating it. If you keep returning every single book saying that it's not good, you'll obviously be blocked. Overall, this is the least favorite service of mine, mainly because you'll have to pay extra to get each audiobook and it's not like it's only a couple of dollars it's very expensive to get another audiobook without that free credit and you only get one free credit per month which is pretty less for a lot of us Maybe if i'm having a really good month i can listen to anywhere between 10 to 15 audiobooks per month so getting one free audiobook and having to pay for like 15 is a lot of money it quickly adds up and i just i feel like i cannot recommend this that much but it's still an option out there. The second service I'm going to talk about is Script. This one actually comes as a subscription service again, but it is much cheaper than Audible. And with this, you can get a 30 day free trial and it is not only subject to audiobooks. You can also get ebooks, audiobooks and other various sources like little documents and everything. This is a great resource for very different things. This actually comes as a US dollar subscription. So it's $8.99 USD. That's about 12 to 14 Canadian dollars. And honestly, that is a great price. And I would honestly 100% recommend this, except, <laughs> you know, here's the problem that I had with Script. I had actually used the free trial for 30 days and I really was enjoying it and I, I decided to buy an extra month so I did pay for that subscription service for another month. The thing that I found was that every so often they blocked you from getting books. They'll say something like oh this is not available right now you'll have to wait for a certain amount of time. Sometimes it's fine because I'm listening to some other audiobook and I'm really interested in it. It's totally cool. But after some time it became like every single audiobook that I wanted to listen to whatever genre it was that I wanted to listen to went on hold and it was like oh you'll have to wait because it's not available right now. And it was not even like a couple of days worth of a wait, it was almost a month worth of a wait. And I was just like, there's no point, like I'm not getting any use out of this service anymore. And I wanted to listen to so many books and I couldn't. I think this is just for audiobooks and not, it doesn't happen with ebooks, but if you're an avid audiobook reader or you want to listen to more audiobooks, that's clearly why you're here. Because of that one reason, I kind of did not like what I was getting out of it. It is definitely worth the price if you're getting ebooks mainly. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be a great price. It is raining like crazy, so if it's loud and sorry. But yeah, it is a really good service, but I just, I felt really disappointed with what it kept doing, so I couldn't get the best out of it. The last service I'm gonna talk about is Overdrive or Libby. This is my favorite so far, and this is a library service. Just like a library, you'll have to place holds on certain books because if you, it's really popular, you probably won't get it for a very long time. You can get a ton of audiobooks and ebooks on this site as well. I have family who has an American library card and they let me borrow it. 
so I'm still able to get books from an American database as well as a Canadian database so I can get more variety of books. And like I said, the main issue with this is you will have to wait for some books for a pretty long time and obviously some of the loans are going to be for a certain period. So the American system that I have is only for 14 days of a loan and the Canadian system that I have is a 21 day loan. So obviously I like the Canadian term a lot better. If you get a book early and you don't want to read it at that particular time, you can also ask them to deliver it later without losing your spot on the hold list and you can get a ton of books out of the service like I said ebooks and audiobooks I personally love the service and I use it like crazy you just need a library card you're not paying anything for it this is the cheapest obviously you're not paying much one of the biggest cons with this is also that sometimes it doesn't download the audiobook for you so it kind of stops or skips a little bit which is really frustrating. This happens mostly on my laptop where it skips chapters and I got spoiled once and I was just really pissed off. Constantly pauses, which is kind of annoying, but it's fine. I still really enjoy the service. Listening to books at 1.0 speed is very slow. For me, at least, I need to listen to most audiobooks at least 1.8 to 2.0. That's like my perfect speed for most audiobooks. Obviously, each audiobook is different. Maybe the narrator speaks in a different accent and I can't understand it properly or quickly enough and I need to drop that speed down to 1.5. That happens too. Anyway, so those are like speeds that you can also manipulate and it's pretty cool that you can do that. It helps you in the way that you need it to. Now we can go on to my audiobook recommendations. I have a few actually. So the first one I'm going to talk about is The Deep Liners by Libba Bray. This one is one of my favorite series out there and also the narrator was actually so good. So in this one we have Evie who has some special powers and she's a diviner. She can essentially come into contact with an object and read its past. Um, and she thought that she was the only one who could actually do this, but she ends up meeting a ton of different people who has a similar ability. The story talks about ghosts and it's supposed to be a horror, but it's a fantastical horror story. And it has great friendship, great relationships. It talks about racism and it's also set in a historical time period as well. So especially interracial relationships were really frowned upon. Um, so it talks about all of those things. It is a fantastic audiobook. And I would highly recommend you guys to actually pick it up in that format. The next book I'm going to recommend is Sadie by Courtney Summers. This one is kind of in a podcast form as well, so you can definitely hear that. And also it's a full cast. So I, I think there's like, like two or three characters, but they have different voices and it's really good. Um, since it's a podcast format, it is definitely better to hear it rather than just reading it. If you want to read it, obviously go for it, but I personally liked it better as an audiobook. Um, this one follows around Sadie who is trying to avenge her sister's death and she goes missing as well. So we have this podcast where this investigator kind of a person is trying to figure out what happened to Sadie, where did she go and where she is right now. Um, he, he comes into contact with a bunch of people he talks to to figure out what happened to Sadie and we see the past of Sadie and her, her sister and the life that she was leading before and the life that she leads right now. So we see different perspectives with this man and also Sadie. It is a very beautifully written story. It also has sexual assault in it, so I'm going to forewarn you. Uh, mainly underage sexual assault, so just keep that in the back of your mind, pedophilia especially so. Another audiobook I really loved was Aurora Rising by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. This has a full cast and especially Finn's voice was just so good. I talked about this book a few times on my channel already, I don't know if I should really explain it so much. It is a sci-fi. I feel like because it is a full cast, you'll really get immersed into this whole um, plot line, they have, at least the audiobook that I listen to, have Australian um, main characters. Not something that I always get to read, so that was cool too. I've mentioned this book so many times on my channel, so I feel like I shouldn't keep going on about it so much. Another audiobook that I really loved was Pneumonia by Noel Stevenson. This is a graphic novel, so definitely physically read it as well. But the audiobook is just such an immersive experience because it has like sound effects. Guys, it's really cool. This one is about this um, shapeshifter girl who teams up with a bad guy and is trying to destroy the government who is hiding a lot of stuff from its citizens. It's a fun story. Definitely, definitely get this as a physical book as well. Otherwise, it's not going to be as 
as immersive, but the audiobook was just so fun to listen to. Again, full cast, but it was it was just really adorable. And the final recommendation that I have is the Lady Janie's series by Cynthia Han, Brody Ashton, and Jodie Meadows. This is supposed to be where the narrator is kind of talking to you, the reader, and telling you a story about a particular Jane character from the historical time, like in the 1800s or whatever. And the narrators are kind of breaking the fifth wall and talking to you, the reader. Listening to it is so fun, just because you can actually hear what each of the author is kind of thinking and the rants that they're having, um, either with themselves or with the characters or what they're doing as the characters. It's just so fun to listen to it. Again, if you want to have a full immersive experience, I personally really think that you should listen to it on audiobook because it's so much fun. All right, you guys, that's everything from me. If you want to subscribe, hit my little face over there. And I have a couple of videos that I posted recently linked in the corner over there. Check those out as well. And like I said, comment down below any of the audiobooks that you've listened to. What's your favorite? And if you listen to audiobooks in general, I'll see you all next time. Until then, I'll talk to you in the comments.